All right, so in the last video, what we talked about is our PID controlling a 4 to 20 milliamp signal through a scale, right? So we did the basically the uh, 0 or 100 to 0 for 100 being our max and the minimum being 0 because that is what our PID CV is going to be working off of, a 0 to 100 signal. Um, then we have our scaling, our engineering units from 4 to 20. Now let's just say you wanted your system as your, your system was a, a reverse reacting. So in this case, um, what we would do is we would change this. So if it's a reverse reacting, what we would do is change this to f four as the max and then minimum is, is 20. And that would be a reverse reacting. So now you, you can, you see that it's completely different how it controls my valve. And why would you control something in re reverse reacting is sometimes safeties or things, the way designs of the valves or de designs of the systems are different where there are fail, fail safes built into the mechanical you know, things that you're being used. So you have to accommodate for that with your signals and your controls for that. So sometimes you have to, you have a, a reverse signal to actually accommodate for a fail safe or something like that to make it work properly. So I just wanted to show you that it's very easy. So reverse acting would be, again, just changing your engineering units right here for forward or four to 20. Um, again, you can have zero to 10 if you're gonna use zero to 10, but we're gonna put ours back to what it was, which is forward react, or not reverse reacting, but forward reacting. So we're, we're gonna go four, uh, 20 to 4 which is 20 in our max and and 4 on our minimum and then you can see our signal goes back so just wanted to show you that just show you how that process works and then kind of close that gap for at least how a re reverse reacting works so hopefully you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one